screens. Top 10. Ben 10 Aliens. Thank you, Alien, for that lovely introduction. Yes, guys, I'm back with another top 10. And as Alien said, Ben 10 Aliens. Yes. If you're wondering where Hybrid is, well, he's back on Earth. So we decided to go and f find another fella to do his job for us. And I know Hybrid's an alien too, but, well, he has his own home problems on Earth. So, our friend Alien here is going to help us out with this top 10. So, that being said, these are my top 10 Ben 10 aliens. Enjoy. But Yes, guys, I go with Big Chill for my number 10 Ben 10 Alien. Why? Um, because out of most of the Ben 10 Alien Force aliens, um, there were uh, some designs I liked and some were there, but Big Chill stood out for me as one of the best of them. Not only is he very intimidating with that look, he is like a ghost type alien similar to Ghost Freak, but he also has this like intimidating look to him, the hood and the insect-like proportions, and I like how he uses his wings to fold up to a maker some sort of robe for himself, it's very clever. And with that, um, like, breathing cool air through his mouth part, I don't know if it's like, yeah, it's mouth part, and so it looks like Darth Vader or some sort of um, Sith Lord kind of thing. And uh, he has those um, incredible ice powers too, which really give me the chills. <laughs> so that is why I've got to give it, because uh, you have to admit, Big Chill is a pretty cool alien. Congratulations, Big Chill. Number 10. I'm sorry, we forgot to mention. Um, Mr. Green will not be taking into account any Ultimate Alien forms, as they do not qualify as full aliens to him. Also, there will be no Alien X or Wavy. They're far too powerful for this list, as we prefer... Standard aliens, and not like, oh, we pick him because he's just so OP. Thanks for your time, and hopefully clarifications. Enjoy the rest of the top ten games and aliens. Thank you. Number nine. Yes, guys, I go with Frankenstrike. Um, Frankenstrike is a minor alien. You may not know him, you may do, but I'll tell you now. Um, he was one of um, Ghost Freak Returns. Uh, he has a sidekick called Victor, who is like a Frankenstein type alien. Venom solves his DNA, and of course, he becomes um, Frankenstrike, which he gets that name later on. At first, he calls him Ben Victor, which is a pretty lame name, but Frankenstrike, of course, is the um, preferred name as he is now. So, he's a very um, brutal alien, brute strength, electrical powers, and a good way of fending off from um, attacks. He's actually pretty useful. He can generate um, his electricity into stuff and gain more power through um, stuff, kind of like Kevin Eleven in a way, um, similar to him. But I will admit, uh, Frankenstrike is a shocking alien to have in Ben 10's arsenal, and with that, I'd say he's a good hand on hand. That's why he gets the number 9 spot for my list. Number 8. You may control every last person. Yes, guys, it's Wild Vine. I believe one of the most useful aliens Ben 10 has ever had. He's very similar to um, Carnage, actually, in a way, because um, Carnage has um, he extends his limbs to make weapons and stuff, and uh, he does extend his limbs too. So, um, and so uh, he does have those abilities. So there are some similarities between him and Carnage in a few ways. Um, but yeah, Wild Vine is a very interesting alien. He can do the uh, 
uses vine arms to swing around. He has the he has these fruit grenades, and he's got a lot of um, entangling powers that can ensnare you. So, and he's very flexible actually. Um, yeah, and he even even his little fingers can smash things when he gets a hold of things. So he's very um actually um very reliable. So I wasn't expecting him. I don't really his design is a uh, pretty up there, but. I'd say, um, looks like it, Wildvine has reached my spot as number eight. Number seven. Discount Spider Man, guys, discount Spider Man. Yeah, um, you've got to admit it, because basically Spider-Monkey is like Spider-Man. He's a monkey who can climb things with spider webs that shoots from his arms and tail. Just like Spider-Man, eh? Only problem is, there's no spider sense on there, but I don't think he'll need it with those four eyes. But yeah, Spider-Monkey. Um, I put him one step ahead of, um, then, uh, Wildvine, because... Wildvine is meant to be like a fast, agile, acrobatic game, but I think uh, Spider-Monkey could be even quicker, actually, because how fast he is, and how nimble, and small he is, he's going to be a harder target to hit. Harder, yeah, like a harder target. And that, 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 that voice, Spider-Monkey, it's very iconic. <sighs> you know, sometimes the smaller aliens can be uh, effective, you don't need to have the biggest alien in the world. Way big. <clears throat> But, you know, sometimes small always does the job. And Spider-Monkey swings on this list at the number 7 spot. Good job, Spider-Monkey. Number 6. Yeah, guys, I have to go with forearms of number six. You know, I'm actually surprised that I put him at number six because before I did this list, um, I was hoping he'd be higher. Really, I was. But as I narrowed it down, it turns out I like other aliens more than him. And I'm really actually happy about that. But at the same time, I'm sad because forearms is an iconic alien to me back in the day. Jesus. And... He has some iconic moments in the series. As a matter of fact, I think the series um, puts a heavy, put, puts sort of a focus on him. Because he's the guy, um, if, as you saw in the clip, he's the guy in the dream sequence. Because Ben's in his dream sequence, he gets to fight Vilgax. And what does he choose to fight him with? Four arms. So, yeah, that's uh, interesting. He's also the alien who um, is chosen to rescue Gwen when she's captured by... Um, uh, I forgot the name of Wildvine Species, was it Floranus? Floranus, some of that. Yeah, basically Gwen gets captured in that movie and, uh, spoiler alert, she, uh, well, she lives, of course, but she gets captured. But, you know, Forearms is the one who goes after her, of course, people, that's what I mean, a better choice, but, you know. It seems that the series has a focus on him for some reason. I don't know what it is, but maybe it's because they have the power of, um, Richard McGonagall in there, and if you don't know who Richard McGonagall is, well, it's, uh, well, maybe this will help. And you, Victor Goddamn Sullivan, you still dragging this tired old sack of shit around? Easy. Sully? You know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> Yeah, seems like the power of Richard McGonagall, who voices uh, Victor Sullivan, is also a win. Because before he was kicking ass with Sully, he was kicking ass as forearms. So, it looks like with a little star power, I believe, uh, you can get all the way to number six. Which I'm sad, but at the same time, for... I know what, I'm happy. It's still a good number, you know, number six. So, good one, forearms. You're awesome. Number five.
Ready, Ben? Okay guys, Diamond Head, gotta have him, um, he's a one step ahead above, uh, forearms, and it's fittingly so why. He's also strong, but he also has something else that he doesn't have besides the extra strength, he also contains a body made of diamond, or diamond-like substance, so that's, uh, pretty hard to, to take back from, so, uh, yeah. He's also, uh, the, uh, first alien to, uh, how to put this, um, He's the first and actually uh, save people. Um, in the first episode, Heat Blast was there, but he didn't really save anyone. More like save the ca okay, he saved the camp, but no one knew that. Um, Wild Nuts saved himself. Uh, Diamond was the first one who actually saved people from the campers on the drone. So yeah, he's that, and he's also uh, very good with projectiles. I think I like him more than Chroma Stone actually. Don't know why. It's just maybe it's because of the designs, more brooding and tough. Yeah, so Diamond is very Diamond Head is pretty useful, actually, from time to time, and it's been shown what his powers can do. So once again, you gotta have something hard staying in there. Diamond Head, you reach the nay to number five. Congratulations on Diamond Head. To see the rest of Mr. Green's Ben Ten Aliens, click on Jackpot here to continue the top ten Ben Ten Alien list.